All right, well, maybe little known in this country, Albert Bichot has been founded, was founded in like 1831, so they've been around Burgundy for a long time. And, you know, when our producers come in and say, we're the largest producer in Burgundy, I'm like, wait a minute, scratch my head and go, oh, well, let's see, Latour, let's see, Chateau. I mean, there's some very big producers in Burgundy, very well known, not only in this country, but around the world. But I don't know, I guess it's vinifying wine, I guess, rather than selling it, because I guess you can make wine in Burgundy and sell it to other people. So they, they own quite a bit of uh, Grand Cru Vineyards, second largest owner in Chablis to William Feb of Grand Cru Vineyards. And let me tell you, man, that was the highlight of this tasting, too, the Grand Cru Chablis we're going to talk about. But uh, whether the largest vinifiers or not, you know, they've really turned the corner. And uh, a volume-driven company in the past, these guys uh, underwent a huge change in 1995 and started to focus on quality, which, hey, you know, every, you cannot make bad wine and sell it at a high price in Burgundy anymore. You've got to make good wine, and almost everybody is. All the big guys have really... Uh, are turning out great wines and this 2009 vintage also a special vintage so you know even average producers are turning out outstanding wines in this 2009 these guys own a hundred acres of vineyard vineyards including three monopoles in burgundy and uh the first wine we had you know their entry level chardonnay that's your calling card you know if that wine is good usually you can count on everything else being really good and this secret de famille chardonnay Really nice little entry-level wine, apple and pear-like fruit, uh, showing notes of whetstone, some nice minerality there. Simple but pleasant, uh, really forward a fruit. And again, you know, these Chardonnays from 2009, almost California-esque, these Bur Chardonnay Bourgogne's. Uh, really nice bottle of uh, Bourgogne Chardonnay, maybe a little more expensive than, you know, we like to show it, but $20 a bottle, not a bad price. And then a St. Romain, which is a town that's just west of Merceau. Uh, you don't see a lot of St. Romain in this country, but it has a, nice, a lot of nice fatness to the wine, similar to Merceau. Or so ripe red apple, light cream, kind of butter brioche notes there, and some toasty flinty notes as well. Nice purity of fruit with uh, that pineapple, kind of candy, lemon, citrus showing. Lovely definition and a slight tangy mineraliness to the finish there as well. Very good stuff. Uh, the Chablis Mouton. This is a monopole Grand Cru, which you know there's seven. Grand Cruz in Chablis. This is the eighth, which most people do not know about. It's located in between Baudicier and Le Prus, which is why most people don't know about it, because he could call it either one. But uh, for some reason, this is the only producer that uh, owns this vineyard, uh, thus the Monopole. And uh, really great vintage, 2002. I was surprised to see they had this wine in the bag, showing some lovely maturity at this point, something Chablis needs in a great vintage because of the acidity levels uh, these wines they need a little bit of time. So the 09, I'm sure, was beautiful, but the 02, uh, like I said, I was much eager to taste that. Lovely chalk and kind of clay minerality showing. Almost a cheese mushroom kind of earthy note to this wine. Really exotic and... Uh, Really killer bottle of Chablis, man. Um, this vineyard, supposedly the amphitheater-like top of the Grand Cru Hill of Chablis, so the warmest part, and uh, they pick this vineyard always earliest. And uh, lovely creamy texture on the tongue, really lovely evolution here, that chalk and minerality showing on the finish, and that excellent underlying acidity that Chablis is so well known for. This wine could go another 10 years. Most excellent juice. Chambon Moussigny, one of my favorite village wines. Uh, the gold letters on these labels mean that these are their own vineyards. So, you know, Burgundy confusing enough as it is. Right? You have to make kind of new rules for your produ pr produ single producer. But uh, this is one of my favorite village wines. Lovely elegance, raspberry, wild strawberry-like fruit on the nose, a hint of mint, kind of an exotic spice. Uh, really nice, smooth, velvety texture on the tongue, but lovely forward fruit, a hallmark of this 2009 vintage succulent. And a nice spice and floral notes showing on the finish. Lovely freshness. Excellent juice. I'll have to check that price. It's not six seventy-five. Probably sixty-seven fifty. All right, Albert Bichon, Nuit Saint George. Nuit Saint George a little bit bigger, a nice smoky character to the nose there. A bit of animal, lovely black raspberry and black cherry fruit. Notes of allspice in there. A big Pinot Noir on the palate. Some grippy tannin showing up, but lovely spice and acidity. Black truffle notes on the finish. The Albert Bichot Pomard, Claude de Ursulines. Uh, this is a monopole as well. Pomard. Big structured Pinot Noirs. Uh, this is on the Domaine de Papillon, right in the limits of uh, Volnay and Pomard, four hectares. And a thick black raspberry fruit on the nose here. Lovely dark spices, some minty and herby notes there, also showing some gravelly minerality. Lovely concentration and depth of flavors on the palate. A bit of a tart note to that red uh, and blackberry fruit, but really nice balance here. And uh, lovely kind of rose petals and a freshness on the finish. Really excellent bottle of pomard the vol romane malconsor this is the premier crew right next to latash so just a stone's throw away is latash and uh <clears throat> 
killer bottle of burgundy, man. Very pretty bouquet here, black cherry, very pretty exotic spices showing up in there, and uh, really lovely nuance uh, in this wine. A little bit of an animal character to it as well, really exotic. Really big and chewy on the tongue, lots of structure on the palate, loads of spice and floral notes, and that gravel minerality also showing most excellent juice. All right, well, next up, we have got a new company, our friend Luigi from Vinifera has gone out on his own.